Welcome back friends to Coffee with Ravi. Today I was going to do a post about lifestyle changes and treatment of medical risk factors that could potentially decrease one's risk of developing dementia by about 40%. That's a big figure considering the fact that we are all living a little longer and that our risk for dementia goes up as we grow older. This is from The Lancet which is a big journal, uh, medical journal, that came up with the findings of reversible or preventable causes of dementia. The top line message is that they added three factors to existing nine factors that could alter one's risk of dementia. The number one additional factor is excessive drinking. Second is exposure to air pollution. And the third factor was preventing head injuries in addition to nine other factors that can lower one's risk of dementia. As we age longer, the risk of dementia goes up because it's a late in the lifestyle, later in the life stage illness that can happen. So here are the 12 risk factors that we can think about modifying. Uh, the three factors that we talked about, excess alcohol consumption, head injury prevention, or head trauma prevention, along with air pollution, are the three main factors that could be modified. The other ones are life education, treatment of high blood pressure, treatment of any kind of hearing impairment, decreasing smoking, decreasing obesity or body weight, increased physical activity, treatment of diabetes, and increased social interaction. So in other words, these are the factors that all play together, and there's large-scale studies that have demonstrated on this Lancet Commission that I'm referring to. The specific things that we could do in terms of modifying these risk factors include aiming for a blood pressure that's no more than a systolic of 130. That is the high part of the blood pressure, so it's that 130, and the lower aspect would be 80. If there is hearing loss, we should look for hearing aids. If there is air pollution, we should aspire to decrease the air pollution or stay away from it and decrease the risk of secondhand or firsthand tobacco, that is smoking. Measures to prevent head injury, such as uh, decreasing uh, impact sports that affect the head, such as football, uh, wearing a helmet. Repetitive head injuries are, uh, have been known to decrease or increase the risk of uh, uh, dementia. Lowering alcohol consumption, and the limit is uh, trying to get it down to less than two units per day for men and one unit for women. And a unit is defined as about eight grams of alcohol, which is what's equivalent to about 100 cc of wine. As mentioned, avoiding smoking and treating diabetes and diabetic risk factors such as uh, inactivity are helpful. As a society, if we can promote as much of primary education and also secondary education that's been associated with preserving cognitive function going into older ages. So on this slide, what I wanted to show you was that these act in two ways. One is by preventing degeneration, which is this aspect of diabetes, uh, treatment of blood pressure, avoiding smoking, and the aspects of social interaction, improving hearing, and uh, increased social interaction allow us to promote thinking. So there's promotion of thinking and there's an aspect of preventing decline. These factors all fit in there. And I have a last slide that shows some of, that some of these factors are at play in different stages of life. In the early childhood, of course, education, there's some stuff that we could do in mid stages of life and there's some things that we could do in the later stages of life as we look at these 12 risk factors. So I hope we continue to think about this problem and uh, if you have any questions, uh, always feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Thank you.